Thank you for attending this webinar exclusively for Calypso Networks Association members and OSPT Alliance members. It is the first time that we co-organize such a webinar. That means that we have a very important announcement to make to you. And might is right to insist on confidentiality. We want to let you know as CNA members and OSPT members in advance of Transport Ticketing London next week that OSPT and CNA have decided to launch a program of cooperation which aims to achieve convergence between our respective standards, Calypso and Cyprus. And uh, this is a decision that has been validated by the board of directors of the two associations. It's been uh, a year in the work, so it's not recent. The purpose of this webinar is to let you know about the long-term and short-term objectives that we're aiming at, getting you involved, and also educating you about the benefits of um, this collaboration. First, we have to situate this uh, decision in the present context of ticketing. Indeed, ticketing evolved a lot since the past 25 years. Initially, it was mainly a simple affair between a transport operator and a ticketing integrator with uh, defining tariff flows and dimensioning the equipment, but only that. There were very few evolutions uh, in the systems sometimes of tariff flows modifications, very costly because everything was proprietary. Nowadays, when implementing or renewing a ticketing system, it's more and more complex. So many questions arise, mm -hmm. open loop, closed loop, system centric, card centric, open payment, account based ticketing, QR code, NFC, interoperability scheme, multi-service. Indeed, transport operators and authorities are really confused and overwhelmed with all these new technologies and new schemes. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, today, with the emergence of the concept of mobility as a service, the need for ticketing systems to be flexible has never been so great. During the life of the system, you have to implement new low tariff flows, new interoperability schemes, to add open payment maybe, to add mobile ticketing, to add mobile providers, new mobile providers. All this can be only achieved with open standards because with open standards, you may have a real competition for each component of the system at each moment of the life cycle. And it is particularly true for the technology you use. Indeed, a lot of those changes comes from a change in the behavior of the, of the travelers. They used to be travelers. Nowadays, they are more consumers uh, because they tend to use travel as any other digital service they're used to today. So, for instance, you search for a place you want to go to in a map, and then you look at where and how you get there. And as you do this journey, you may want to add maybe a booking for a hotel or some other digital services attached to it. And, and all the benefits of digital services, including ways of payments, open loop or not, comes into play. So the travelers are becoming consumer and they now consume transit. A very different change from what was in the past. Uh, and that change is significant enough for PTOs and PTAs so that they cannot address that by their own. It needs to be addressed with the whole ecosystem. That's the purpose of open standards. We want to do this in an environment that allows this to happen, integrating with other players. And the whole purpose of pushing open standards will enable such a transition in a better way. Well, the 
two associations have long worked at uh, helping PTOs by writing the specifications in an open standard approach. Now what we want to do is do it jointly. And uh, we have um, th the goal to help PTOs and PTAs move away from fragmentation and realize the benefit of open standards, meaning um, effect of scales for the suppliers, but also interoperability for the benefit of operators. So um, we're looking at doing that uh, by several things. First, we'd like to jointly educate the market on the benefit of this approach. Secondly, we want to make it a lot simpler for PTOs and PTAs to choose a solution and not have to fight between which startup is the best one. Um, third, we'd like to make sure that this is done with the support of the ecosystem and all the players so that we have a real full approach of open standard true to our beliefs. And last, we'd like these to materialize so that we can demonstrate the benefit of open standards being interoperability but also scale effects and cost benefits. I would add, Philippe, that uh, uh, the guidelines, best practices for an efficient and sustainable ticketing system that we have published indeed really reflect this willingness shared by CNA and OSPT to give to transport operators the keys to really master their system. That's very important, I think, to keep mastering of the system for transport operators. Agreed. I am sure that you have a question. Why do they engage this collaboration now? First, we have to look at our history, I think. CNA, Calypso Networks Association, has been created at the beginning of the year 2000 by transport operators and authorities which want to promote and develop Calypso worldwide as an open solution. Indeed, operators and authorities need to have a true competition between providers, leading really to a decrease of cost. And proprietary solutions mean increase of cost. And of course, operators want low cost. That's why Calypso was really uh, reflecting straightforward the need of transport operators, security, interoperability, and openness. As for OSPT, um, it's been created about a decade ago, but with the same founding principle, um, fighting against the complexity of proprietary solutions. While CNA was more driven by um, transport authorities, the OSPT Alliance was more driven by industrial players. However, with the same objectives, strong security, interoperability, openness. Now the two associations have reached a critical mass and while we existed in, in tandem for uh, some part and some other part in competition uh, to stay true to our um, core values it makes total sense today to work on converging the two standards. You are right, Philippe. I think that uh, uh, our principles, our values have aligned during these past years and that now it was time to engage this convergence for the great benefits of operators mm -hmm. and authorities to simplify their approach of the market and to make them easier mm -hmm. to go to open standards without uh, issue to solve. It will be very simple for them to understand the difference between open standards and proprietary solutions. So you have understood that the long term of our cooperation is convergence of our respective standards Cypress and Calypso. Because this will bring huge benefits 
to the whole community in applied in ticketing, operators and industry. But we also want to bring some benefits as soon as possible. That's why we have defined a roadmap to achieve this. And uh, it will be a stepped approach. The initial step will be to first um, understand the strength of each standard. And from there, we will target a um, roadmap for convergence. Based on that roadmap, then we will have long-term goal, short-term and long-term. Um, for that to materialize, we have decided to create three working groups addressing different topics such as governance, but also marketing and communication to educate the market about the benefits. And third is the most important, the technical roadmap, which will initially try to address compatibility issues so that whatever choice you've made in the past is not going to be endangered. Uh, but long term, uh, we would work at masking the choices of um, the standards you may have made through SDKs or even through the security access module so that it becomes less important the choice but more important the interoperability that um, uh, the solution will provide through the convergence. As a member, probably you have questions. What does that mean for me? Indeed, we have big plans, but the immediate effects for you are very low. Both organizations will remain as separate entities. You will keep the organization, the structure, the working groups, the fees also will be the same. So nothing really new for a foreseeable future. There is indeed no reason to be concerned about your ongoing projects because what we're working is in addition to what exists. So we will protect and safeguard your investment that has been made so far. Any additional work will be conducted in addition to the existing work groups. So we're not putting in danger anything that was made in the past however, working at this convergent plan together in the future. So it should be uh, very simple. And of course, the objective is not to eclipse one standard over another. Mm. It's to ensure compatibility at absolutely. this stage and after convergence, but you will face absolutely no issues with that. Well, I'm sure you all realize how ambitious this project is and how excited we are about this. Uh, it's been in the work for some time. Um, given the history of the two associations, you can uh, realize that re this required a lot of trust that we have gained uh, through this uh, cooperation. Now we would like to invite you to participate and give your inputs because this will require the entire ecosystem uh, to work properly. And uh, what we'll guarantee is that we will work is as much as possible in transparency so that you are aware of the outcome of this collaboration as much as possible. And should you feel uh, like wanting to discuss with us or your respective association, please feel free to contact us. There are references later in the presentation where you can find the names of the contact uh, persons and feel free to contact us if you need to. So we have been very happy to share with you this information on this announcement to you first as our members in advance to the official announcement next week. We are sure with Philip that this cooperation is very important for the next steps of the ticketing. We know that all operators, authorities and industry require clear messages and things to be simple and we participate 
to this uh, simplification of the approach of the market. We are sure it will bring to operators, authorities, uh, keys and tools to enable powerful, sustainable, cost-effective solutions answering really to their needs. That's why we are very, very motivated to do this together. Exactly. And, and furthermore, um, we'd like to make sure that uh, it's clear that we're not limited into the work that we're doing uh, as to Calypso versus Cypress only. What we're aiming at is at uh, working at specifying the entire architecture that relates to the ticketing system so that uh, PTOs, PTAs have a full control of the digital solution at hand and uh, they are not blocked by any levels. So that's our goal. Uh, as I said, as we said, it's ambitious but we think realistic and we're quite happy about um, this announcement to you. Thank you, Philippe. And I really enjoyed <laughs> to work with you. Thank you.